Hello, and welcome to Strangecast episode 12. A bit of a catch up. That's it. Um, I'm Andre. I didn't say it last time, I forgot. <laughs> and I'm Kirsten. My lovely wife. And as of yesterday, uh, we've been together for 17 years. And that is to say, um, together but not married. Because we celebrate two anniversaries a year. Because that's just how we roll. We do. So, uh, yeah, this is literally just a bit of a catch-up. It'll be this short episode. Maybe the shortest. We haven't got a lot to say, but we wanted to put something out and just let you know that we're still here. Um, I mean, we did have nice things that happened to us, didn't we? So, should we start with Sunday? Yeah, sure. Um, it's Sunday, 1st of December. Alice managed to convince me to put the Christmas tree up. Because? Um, because it would make her so happy, is what she said. Um, usually... I put out some of our decorations, um, just things like, you know, nice Christmas towels in the downstairs bathroom and, you know, candles, things like that on the first. And then sort of slowly over time and maybe a couple of weeks before Christmas, the tree goes up. But she came to me on Saturday evening pleading her case for putting the tree up, saying it would make her so, so happy. Um, So you did. (laughs) So we did. Because how can you refuse? Um, well, that's she's, fair. She's too cute. Uh, so we did that on Sunday. We spent the day basically um, Christmasing the house. She made great cookies too. She did. She made cookies. Yeah. Like a sort of almost American style cookie, I think. Um, and not the kind that you find on websites, but the actual nice ones. Yeah. Well, they were from like a, a make make at home box yeah. um, sort of kit just not because she can't do them herself because she's incredible but just for the sort of fun and ease of mm, it the um, funny thing is she said they only took 12 minutes to bake as well very very quick yeah and they were delicious they were really good there's still one because i think they only made like six cookies there's one left in the fridge and i'm eyeing it up <laughs> well you can have it because yesterday i had it i had the i one know but it's her last one and i feel bad so i think yeah. she should have it but I'm definitely going to get that kit again. You get double. Make her make, yeah, I think so, cause they were really good. And they the icing, <laughs> I don't know what was in that icing, but it was really delicious. It was really good. I had yeah. two. I had one on the day. Maybe I've actually had three. I can't remember. I've had one on the day and it was melty, which was fine, by the way, because actually gooey icing is quite nice. Mm. It goes. But when it's in the fridge and it's set. Oh, it's great. Yeah, with sprinkles it, on the top as well. And nice sprinkles, not the hard crunchy ones that break your teeth i have a shelf in the fridge and it's the dedicated dad shelf and uh because the plate was on my shelf i thought well they must belong to me then (laughs) so i had one yesterday when no one was looking um and they were very well it was there if it was on a different shelf i don't look on any other shelves no so being as it was on my shelf i nabbed a cookie so if it's still there after this podcast i might go get it so you better take it away (laughs) I can't hide cookie. it. Yeah, can't cookie. We'll take it away. Yeah. And then yesterday was very nice. <clears throat> We'd been planning for a long time because in the previous episode we talked about, I think it was um, uh, the Gumtree episode, uh, that we'd never, well, we haven't been out just us on our own for a really long time since pre-pandemic, we think. Since we don't know Not the Not out for time. food. We did no. <laughs> go a few weeks ago or a month ago. When we had to visit the The job center. center. But But that's not not exactly a, you know, fun, romantic thing to do. No, it sucks. But we haven't been out for just us. So we wanted to rectify that, didn't we? So we ended up yesterday in... Pizza Express. And it was great. It's so nice, that one. The one that's closest to us, um, which is just off of, uh, or on Abbey Road. Like just up from, well, it's a fair bit up from Abbey Road Studios. Um, but it's just, it's really nice. They have it decorated really nice. The um, the waiter, actually, you should talk about him because I thought he yes, was, I was gonna. he was amazing. And don't forget, you took a picture of the menu. I nearly forgot oh about that. Oh my gosh, that. I did. Yes. Okay, <laughs> while I'm finding that, you talk about the waiter because he was lovely. Yeah, and this actually leads on to something we would like. We'd love to hear your good disability stories, positive stories. Because yesterday, the waiter, as soon as we walked in, said, would you like a menu in Braille? So I didn't have my cane out. Which I've never, ever had anybody when we've been out anywhere ask that. I can't think of another time that's happened. Mm. I cannot. 
And um, when he brought my drink over, he poured the stuff into the glass automatically and then took my hand gently and put it on the glass instead of just dropping it down yeah. on the table expecting me to find it. Which, by the way, is fine when there's only two of you, but when there's a lot of stuff on the table, blind man sweeping hands across the table is not good. No, I mean, I don't do that. But it was it, just, I don't know, but. he just, the care that he took, but it was in a completely natural way. Yes. It wasn't like patronising, it, it wasn't talking down to you or anything like that like we have had. It was amazing. He was just really, really nice and... Um, yeah, we just I definitely think it's worth mentioning because there are not enough people that are like that. And we became American for the day. We tipped. I we never do. tip. I do. I don't tip. I do in restaurants. <laughs> but we definitely did because he was really nice. He was super um, nice. But yeah, so we wanted to share um the festive cocktails um for their special Christmas menu because it did make me laugh. Um so they had the Yule Love Our Margarita. But the Yule, um, as in Y-U-L-E. <laughs> um, then it had the Frangelico Elf Espresso Martini. Very good. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm wondering how the, the AI auto transcription service that I use is going to make some of these names. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll send it to you afterwards. You can have a look. Um, raspberry Sleigh Bell Spritz. I'm Dreaming of a Passion Fruit Martini. <laughs> okay. You could stop right there. <laughs> Berry Mojito Ho Ho Ho. Um, Aperol Spritzmus, which I think was my favourite one. Um, Elf Espresso Martini and Merry Spritzmus. So some are sort of repeated but slightly different, but clever nonetheless. Well, I guess if you've got espresso, then, you know, yeah. there's only so many Christmas puns you can put in there. That's good. Um, but yeah. So we would love to hear your positive disability stories like that. Um, because I think it's so rare that that happens. It actually made me really smile. And it shouldn't really be this way. It should be that way everywhere. But since it's not, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. But we did also want stories about, you know, people's um, maybe misconceptions of people with disabilities yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So for future, future episode. Send them in. There's a couple of ways you can do that. You can use the YouTube comments if you're listening on YouTube, or you can contact us through the website if you want to do that as well. But yeah, I mean, <sighs> the food. You know me and food already. Yeah. I had a massive, massive bowl of uh, chorizo chicken pasta with added prawns. Because when you read the menu to me, uh, there was a pizza with garlic prawns. And mm. I didn't want pizza. I specifically didn't feel like it. But I thought, I'm going to go to Pizza Express and have a pasta instead, so I did. Actually, they have some really, really nice-looking um, other dishes that aren't pizza. Do they? Well, some of the others that I was reading you sounded really delicious. I thought they were just all pastas. No, pizzas. Oh, oh, the, yeah, okay. Um, No, they. I think, I'm sure they had a couple of other things. But no, but I mean like the different pasta dishes and stuff. They're all yeah. really interesting, really nice. They did seem nice. But they didn't have any with prawns in. So I asked the waiter, who's mm. very nice, if they could actually <laughs> take some prawns and put them in my pasta, which they did. I got a nice portion. He was more than happy. He was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> yep. So that's going to be my signature dish now, is the yeah. chicken treats of pasta with added prawns. Nice. Actually, you know what? Speaking of prawns. <laughs> oh, the, the gigantic. Yeah, well, um, on Saturday, I was just here relaxing, reading a book. And I just actually put out a YouTube video that day about AI and my thoughts on the, the state of music and AI and what have you, which is fun and people are finding it interesting. And uh, I got a call from my sort of stepdad and he's like, are you busy? I've got a new car. Do you want to go somewhere? I had no plans of doing anything. So I uh, decided, yeah, I'll go out. I just had lunch. And uh, he drove me all the way to Uxbridge in his very nice BMW X5. High car, really very big and very comfortable very nice engine um and uh we stopped off at this indian place which i've forgotten the name of now but uh they did the biggest prawns i think i've ever seen you said they weren't really prawns well i thought maybe they were langoustine um which but is... they were absolutely huge um with the tails and and everything which i did cut off for you, you. did detail them um but they were like almost the size of my hand and i know i've got small hands but still 
they were ginormous. Yeah, and they tasted phenomenal. And uh, basically, since the girls don't eat what I eat, uh, it was a me and Jake dinner. And, it was, And yeah. uh, Moses knew that, so he's like, right, I've bought you and Jake dinner. So I text them, and I, you know, to make sure that Jake didn't have dinner beforehand. And so I brought it all back. And I wasn't sure whether Jake could like that, because I know he hasn't really cared for prawns in the past. But no, he he's did a bit hit and miss like with prawns, isn't he? But he loved these. Because mm. I, I said to Alice afterwards, because he'd eaten upstairs, did Jake like them? And he, she said, well, the plate's empty. <laughs> that was her response. <laughs> like, well, then. So, yeah, I brought back, um, I, was, I think there were two different dishes, and we combined into one. There was a prawn curry and a prawn biryani, I believe. Double um, prawns. Double prawns. Yeah. Because Moses and I, we go back years, and we have a huge love of prawns. So, like, he's done me a prawn linguine pasta dish before, years ago, and it was great. So anytime there's an opportunity to have prawns, we'll do that. And I thought, thought about that on the Monday. I was like, yeah, I want more prawns. So <laughs> I had a very prawntastic weekend, uh, I've got to be said. <laughs> because um, a lot of pizza places don't offer them when you get them on pizza. Now, I like to have a meat feast and add prawns. I think only Pizza Hut does this. Uh, maybe Domino's. Haven't ordered from Domino's in years. They're very expensive. I'm not sure that they do prawns. Somewhere it does. Maybe yeah. it's tops or something. But yeah, occasionally you can get good pizza with prawns. But yeah, prawns is my, my jam, as it were. And then you had, yesterday. Uh, I I just had a, a margarita. I'm very boring. She's like that. Margarita pizza. Yeah. But Lee, you did enjoy it. But that it. was what I was, yeah, I was really wanting that. Yeah, so because I was we, very happy. We were going to end up at a different cafe, weren't we? Which yeah. I was looking forward to the menu of. But I said that we could all go in the holidays, you, me and the kids. Yeah, that would be nice. Which I really like to do. And you had your calamari. Oh, yes. Your favourite. Oh, yes. I do love calamari. And in fact, when I there's a drama that I work with, a guy called Alex. And it was, I don't know if he got me into it per se, but he told me that there was some in this event that we were playing at one day. And we kind of bonded, because uh, this was early on. In about our love of calamari. So we used to play in a place, and the name still amuses me, called Siegfried von Underbelly. Right? <laughs> I love the name. Siegfried von Underbelly in Shoreditch, uh, in London. And bef well, between g a sound check and the gig, so we'd do sound check and then we'd go off and get food. We'd go upstairs and we'd get calamari, and Alex and I would always go do this together because no one else really cared. They'd go do their own thing. But he looked after me, made sure I was fed and watered like a plant. And uh, one of the things I used to get was calamari. And I got really into it. And I got Jake into it too. But he's specific about the type he likes. I'm very easy to please, so I just don't care. But uh, yeah, the calamari at Pizza Express yesterday was super nice. And you're not a calamari fan, are you? But you did, no. you did like yesterday's. Well, normally I find it very chewy. And, you know, I don't eat meat. And I eat very, very little fish. So it's definitely not something I would be keen on. But I had... I did try one, and it was delicious. It was not chewy at all. Nope. Which was really surprising. Um, you even came back for the sauce. I did. The sauce was lovely. I don't know what it is. No. But it was really nice. And then I had this lemonade thing that we tried to find in Tesco. Hopefully we can find that. Yeah, it was like a raspberry sparkling lemonade or something. Which I didn't think... I didn't know if I'd like it or not, but it no, was there. It was... I tried it. It was nice. Yeah. You tried it too, I think. Yeah, it was lovely. But yeah, we didn't have an alcohol-filled lunch because it was not even two o'clock at that point. Well, I don't <laughs> drink and you're not going to drink on your own, so... No, I'm not like that. <laughs> I didn't like that, I do. But yeah. But yeah, that's us, you see. Nice, a bit of a short one. We're just sort of yesterday celebrating uh, 17 years of togetherness. I thought it was really nice and I'm really glad we did it. And the thing is, uh, it made me miss not, not doing it more. So we have to make more of an effort to do that. And it's only a, what, a, quarter, of an hour, a quarter of an hour walk to Pizza Express. Yeah. There's no reason why we couldn't do it more. And it wasn't that expensive, really. No, not at all. For two of us? Yeah. Make Jake jealous. Oh, yeah, Jake. <laughs> so we sent a picture of the calamari to a family group. And Jake came home from school yesterday. And I said, hey, did you see the picture? And he's like, I'm not going to give you the attention you deserve. Because <laughs> <laughs> he would have loved calamari. Yeah. But he got me back a few weeks ago because there's a kebab shop around the corner that he goes to, that we both go to when we, we want a, a quick fix. It's only a tenner for a massive, massive portion of food. And he went one day when I think I was away from home and then he told me about it afterwards. So he gets me back in his own way. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> Rude. 
<laughs> but yeah, it was it's nice. But I think we can all go um, to both Pizza Express and this place. You yeah. Know, got time. It's a two week holiday coming up. So all the more reason to go out as a family, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. This whole thing's been about food. I mean, it was about cookies and, and pasta and pizza and calamari. It's all about, about food. It's your favourite. My favourite. Not going to lie. But there we are. Short and sweet, I think. Probably one of the shortest, like episode one. That was 11 minutes. This wow. will come in about 15, I think. But yeah, that's us. I hope you found it somewhat interesting. And if you have food stories, disability stories, good, bad or otherwise, do tell us. Because we want to know. Um, yeah, most of mine are sort of okay stories. A lot of bad things don't tend to happen to me, re-disability. I don't know, maybe it's my face. Hmm. But yeah, that's it. Anything else? No, not from me. And finish my tea then. Which isn't cold this time. Pleasure. See you next time. Bye. You're still here. Ah, okay. So, you found a fact the other day, didn't you, on TikTok? I did. And it was something along the lines of, and this blows my mind, if you heat up aluminium beyond its current temperature, which, of course, when you touch it, and it's in can form or spoon form or whatever, it's a solid, right? It heats up. Therefore, it becomes liquid. Which means that when something is solid, it is actually in its frozen state. Which means that everything we touch and interact with that isn't liquid is a solid. That's obvious when you think about it. But to think about it being frozen seems really, really odd. And it brings a whole new meaning to the term frozen solid. I mean, when you think of frozen, you think of ice. At least I do. It's quantifiable. And then anything above ice is liquid. That's water. Is that fair? Yeah. So how is it? And I mean, not how is it, but why is it that everything we interact with and touch being solid is frozen? It seems so weird, but also a really interesting and cool thing to think about. And now that I've told you that, you won't ever think of solids the same way again. <laughs> so there you go. Bye for real now.